Kwa oh, sana habari yako? Nzuri. So kidogo nilikuwa nataka kidogo nieleze kidogo jinsi ambazo so far we, wewe kama dadake that is uh, the late Mildred. Juko na watu ambao pia walikuwa nataka kuiski nini ambayo so far ili transfer ama nini ambayo ilipata kufanyika? Na nyi personally kama wa familia mlipata habari aje? Eh, uh, sana. Mm -hmm. Alitoka hapa Kenya. Mm -hmm. January. Mm -hmm. Na kutoka kwake au kutaka watu wa familia wengi tujua ameenda. Mm -hmm. Sasa kutokea tukakuwa kwa vile unasikia tu kwa media umeingia online. Mm -hmm. Unaona una msana ndiye akakuja akawa anaongea na yeye anamuelezea kila kitu ho amelalanja anafanya kazi kuanzia asubuhi hadi jioni sasa ni kulia tu kuna conversation hata tutaweza kutumia but kwenda kwa mtu anaongea na yule rafiki yake mm -hmm. alifika point akasema hata nitaweza jiua uh, of course to my amazing people my name is Ergo the Amba and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi Kenya uh, the reason as why nimepata kufika hapa leo hii ni kwamba kuna hii story ambayo so far sasa hivi najua kwamba kuna watu wanazungumzia sana kwenye mitandao za kijamii but unfortunately ni kwamba hujapata kuelewa exactly what is the reason behind the DMIC yake one of the ladies ambayo so far anajulikana kama Mildred Mildred is one of the ladies ambayo so far anapata kufanya kazi Saudi but unfortunately ni kwamba alipata kufariki and this is one of the key things ambayo so far watu wanaishi kwamba kwa kweli it is not good 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 so uh, I talked to the sister just to get to know exactly ni nini ambayo ilipata kujiri na ikapata dada yetu kupata kufariki what really transpired ama ni nini ambayo kwa kweli ilipata kufanya mpaka kapata kufariki now nikipata kuna watu ambao wanaongea vitu mingi sana kwenye mitandao za kijamii but unfortunately mimi i want to just categorically go clear nataka ni sema wazi wazi ili kila mtu apate kuielewa now i talked to the sister and uh, ni kwamba inasemekana kwamba uh, Mildred uh, Busolo Mildred, Mildred Busolo ambaye anatoka maeneo za Kakamega alipata kusafiri kutoka maeneo za Kenya kuelekea Saudi kwa minaji ilitoa kufanya kazi kama wale wasichana wengine but unfortunately kwamba maisha ilipata kumpiga uh, chenga ikawa kwamba maisha ya Saudi kwa kweli yeye binafsi hayakupata kuwa yamemkubali na akawa anapitia changamoto kama kumambiwa kwamba anafaa kufagia anafaa kuosha nyumba karibu rooms kumi na moja kaisi kwamba kwa kweli hayakuwa Uh, ni rahisi kwake. I just want you guys msikize kutoka kwa dada yake ambaye kwa kweli alipata hatukupata kuongea sana kwa sababu tu ya pia the kind of situation ambayo so far wako na nikawa tu nimeongea na yeye kidogo tu. Nataka tu msikize kutoka kwake. Mm, kidogo tu just a minute ni kwamba walipata kupitia changamoto so far. So guys, uh, kidogo tu I think there is a problem na nini yangu hapa kidogo. But now let me clarify this ni kwamba <coughs> our sister alipata kufariki. Let me see. Sije kama atakuwa na pick. Kidogo tu I want just to talk to her. If possibly I'm calling her directly. Nataka msikize. Yes, hello. Hello. Hello mambo. Poa sana habari yako? Nzuri. So kidogo nilikuwa nataka kidogo nielezee kidogo jinsi ambazo so far we, wewe kama dadake that is uh, the late Mildred. Juko na watu ambao pia walikuwa nataka kuisikiza kuelewa ni nini ambayo so far ili transfer ama nini ambayo ilipata kufanyika. Na nyi personally kama wa familia mlipata habari aje? sana mm -hmm. alitoka hapa Kenya mm -hmm. January mm -hmm. akaenda Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. kuka Saudi Arabia sawa so, ni kama amemaliza mwaka mm -hmm. ama mwaka na mwezi na yeye kutoka kwake au kutaka watu wa familia wengi tujua ameenda sasa mm -hmm. kutokea tukakuwa kwa vile unasikia tu kwa media umeingia online unaona unaambiwa msichana anajinyonga Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Na before alikonga amepigia mamake simu like Monday, ameongea na mamake. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa 
mate ama sika yake yeye akaongea na yeye akamuelezea vile anajisikia mm. kumbe yeye alikuwa na machungu ofisha kutaka mzazi asikie ile machungu ya mtoto wake vile yeye anajisikia hiyo machungu akataka mamake ajue eti mama ako na pressure mm. saa kawa amekuja alienda na one of uh, her friend eh? mm-hmm. wamekuwa ofisi mo, ofisi moja training moja huyo mm. msana ndiye akakuja akawa anaongea na yeye anamuelezea kila kitu ho amelalanja anafanya kazi kuanzia asubuhi hadi jioni sasa ni kulia tu kuna conversation hata tutaweza kutumia mm, nimeona nimeona eh sasa alikuwa analivyo yule msichana ikafika mm. time sasa kuna kuwasiliana mm. so tunasikia amejiua tunaambiwa anajiua sasa sisi tuko na shanga amejiua aje basi kwenda kwa 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 anaongea na yule rafiki yake mm. alifika point akasema hata nitaza jiua mm. eh hey. so, so na kidogo tu wewe tu, nyinyi kama familia mmejaribu ku reach out that is uh, nini mmejaribu ku reach out boss wake kujaribu kumzungumza naye kuhusiana na mambo na uh, ilikuwaje akajipata kujiua ama ya nini ambayo ilifa, ili sofa ilifanyika ndio akakufa mimi kibinafsi mm-hmm. nilipewa namba hapo ya Saudi Arabia mm-hmm. nikapigia one of the agent akaniambia yako na kazi anafanya mm-hmm. ako busy akanikatia simu mm-hmm. nikachukua tena namba ingine ilisemekana ni ya boss wake mm-hmm. akaniambia inti mafi shughul ana fi shughul mm-hmm. ya mot khalas yani ako na kazi anafanya ya asha kufa unaona bila responde responde vibaya sana mm-hmm. na hiyo ndiye aliambia mimi si mtu mwingine mimi ndio nimpigia mhm huyo wa town anajiita agent Lucy mhm tumetoka tumeenda tao tuko wasana wawili na brada yake na ule kazi yake tukaenda tao tuko na watoto wadogo tumeenda tao paisa tatu tulikuwa tao mhm tukazunguka tao tuna, tunajaribu kutafuta ile office atu kufanikiwa mm. okay tukampigia yule Lucy simu akatuambia kaye ni pale audio ninakuja tukutane imagine tulikaa tao mm. sana kuonekana hadi 6 midomo zimekauka hakuonekana mm. yeye hakutumia msana wetu kifo hiyo ni accident Mm-hmm. Bona anajificha angekuja tuonge atuambie process ni gani alafu tujue hiyo office ndio mm-hmm. tu, tuweze kufuatilia vizuri sasa tujue office ni wapi na yeye anajificha ukimpigia simu ashiki lakini vile tulikuwa tawa alituambia tukai audio anakuja atu kumuona so so far mm-hmm. so so far kulingana na repatriation ya mwili amjapata kujua exactly the procedure tuko kwa kiza sana bro tuko kwa kiza kabisa tujui tuanze wapi tufanyaje unajua angeweza kujitokeza hata akae na sisi atuambie process ni hii ni hii na hii hii na hii at least tungekuwa tuko na ile imani hatuna matumaini kabisa tunashindwa tufanyaje mm? so mpaka sasa hii na je sasa hii mkijaribu kumpigia simu anashika mnazungumza au vipi ashiki ashiki simu ni mbaya sana ashiki hata kama mtu anatuambia tu mimi nishasema sha kufa nini unataka tena niongee na nyinyi na nishapeana ripoti haezi sema wacha basi nikuja askiza tunasema nini ama tunataka usaidizi gani juu yeye ndiye anajua hizo ofisi mbili jo ofisi ni moja ya hapa Kenya na nyingine iko Saudi Arabia hmm. so inafaa tuongee na yeye kama familia yeye akutumia msana wetu kifo hiyo ni accident tuelewane tushirikiane tujue tutafanya nini msana wetu arudi Kenya na uh, okay the other side huyo hey, boss wake amesema hata zungumzia haya kabisa boss wake nilimpigia simu alinijibu vibaya sana hmm. alinijibu kwa Kiarabu na mimi naelewa Kiarabu kwa maana nilikuwa huko hmm. hey. so hii hey, agency hii hey, agency najitaje hii hey, agency ambayo dada yenu ali travel nayo inaitwaje inajita Yasmin Yasmin. Yeah. Na sasa vile tumeenda tukazunguka tunajaribu tuna kutafuta. Mm. Tumeambiwa wako over 600 plus. Mm. 
wakatuelezea tuende tulini tureporti kule polisi tumeenda police station ikakuwa ni late sana polisi sasa wakatuambia hiyo si kesi tuona tutuma immigration kuangalia time ni 6:30 sasa tukaona immigration maybe wamefunga tukarudi kwa nyumba tena kesho ndio inafaa tuende tujaribu hatujui kama tutafanikiwa tena Mm. Aje huyo nani? Uh, Mildred alikuwa na familia, alikuwa na watoto, alikuwa na mtoto. Mildred alikuwa amefanikiwa na mtoto yote bado. Mm. Alikuwa bado. Na hata mwanaume. Aje alikuwa na na uhusiano wote na mwanaume kwa hiyo leka. Na hiyo familia iko humble kabisa hata tuchu tutazauza nini kwa hiyo familia hakuna chochote yani. Mm. Mm. Well, let's, let's hope for the best. Tajaribu tajaribu kadri tuwezavyo. And in case kesho kesho personally kesho, kesho I'll, I'll see I'll see what we do eh. Mm, I'll try. Kuna, kuna, kuna watu ambao sofa wanakusikiza wana, wana na ungetaka kujua exactly nyinyi kama familia usaidizi gani ambao sofa nyinyi mngetaka Hata saya tujuu mwili iko wapi iko mochari alitupwa ako wapi atujui chochote hmm. Tunataka mwili joshaa kufa tuna lingine hmm? Kama agent Lucy angekuwa na utu angekaa na familia tushirikiano tujue tuta, tutafanya nini msana wetu arudi Kenya sasa kitu akitupeleka hivi vichochocho vichochocho roni tutanini aje tutajuaje maisha nini mwili iko wapi hmm? atujui mwili iko wapi arrangement hakuna okay ni sawa uh, ombi lenyu ni unataka mwili eh mbate kuletwa mwili hata nikifika tu airport tutajua hata kama tutatembea na msana wetu kutoka Nairobi hadi Kakamega ni afadhali tulale kwa njia tukupumzika tukijua tumepata mwili ya dada yetu mm. okay ni sawa ni sawa ni sawa nda kupigia baadaye eh haya asante So guys eh uh, niliyekuwa nili, nili, nili nikizungumza naye ni dada yake that is uh, the late ambayo unapata kumuona hapa Mildred ambaye kwa kweli alipata so far inasemekana kwamba alipata kujitia kitanzi but unfortunately kwa zile matamshi zake mtu anaweza sema kwamba anataka kujitoa anaweza kitia kitanzi na ikuwe ni kwamba hajapata kujitia kitanzi ama kuna kitendo ambacho ilipata kumfanyikia we don't have the proof kama alisema atapata kujiua nini nini but we don't have the proof kuonyesha kwamba alipata kujitia kitanzi and we also we are waiting for the report kutoka kwa the other side. The other thing ambayo familia kwa kweli wanasema ni kwamba they have tried their level best kujaribu kuongea na yule agent ambayo sofa alipata kuwapeleka kama msichana wao alipata ku travel naye ambaye anajulikana kama Lucy but unfortunately ni kwamba Lucy is nowhere to be seen or uh, she is not even responding to exactly the plea of the family. We are calling upon everybody ambayo yuko pale nje and guys we need to come together. We need to unite kuhakikisha kwamba the late uh, Mildred Ata kama kuna yele ambayo sofa ilipata kufanyika but unfortunately ni kwamba mwili wako umepata kurudi hapa maeneo za Kenya and guys tafadhali tusimame na hii familia kwa kisha kwamba tunapeana support inaweza kuwa kwamba mtu anahisi kwamba amepata kuchoka at the moment umepata kuchoka but no ni kwamba usipate kuchoka ipate ifike to an extent ambayo unapata kujitoa uhai ama kufanya kitendo kama hiyo. The other thing ambayo sofa sijapata kuelezea na ingekuwa ni vibaya sana. I just want to share you with you guys uh, one of the conversation So guys, eh, kidogo tu uh, I just want to I want to I want to skiza, like I want to explain this. Eh. There is a story ambayo sofa anaona hapa ni kwamba the late kabla uh, Otino anaitwa Mildred alikuwa anajiita Mildred Otino pale kwenye alisema hivi on one of the occasion alisema uh, yes So alikuwa anaongea na rafiki yake mwingine na kimuelezea kwamba mam ni miamua ya ukweli si ya mchezo na na kojea na ongojea wa mke niwapatie chakula nioshe vyombo na niende kwenye Mungu ataniambia until until make mistake but but they just forgive me i until make mistake but uh, until make mistake uh, but they just forgive me it is not my wish they say i am um, i make import group import group eh nilisikia mimi ni media 
wa Google na discover na discover inanipitia maisha ngumu sana. So like our lady sometimes unaweza kuwa na simu yako tafadhali guys eh? Sometimes unaweza kuwa na simu yako and sometimes una receive zile vitu ambao so far gadget isifanye kwamba ujipate kujitia kitanzi because our sister ni kuna zile message ambazo so far alikuwa anapata kuiona. Sometimes your phone can be hacked. Phone yako is easier to hack. Wanaweza hack simu yako so far. Kama kwa, kama ulipata kuniliwa simu na boss wako, it is easier for somebody to hack that phone. So isikuwe ni kwamba unapoona zile message, what you do you can decide to buy a new phone which has not been hacked unaweza hakiwa simu and then mambo yaanze kukusumbua kiakili wacha niwaambie this kind of gadgets is why kukusumbua kili never commit suicide because of this etikumba kuna unaona unaona ni kwamba oh it is mambo na cyber bullying ama cyber security unaishi kwamba oh utapelekwa prison nini nini no this kind of gadgets is kupe pressure this one ikianza kuingizia vitu nyenye ujisiki na unaona vitu zingine and you don't know how to share with people vunja simu rusha nunua simu nyingine That is the only advice I can give people. So our sister alisema kwamba kuna message zilikuwa zinamuingilia na ajui ni message za nini, anapitia magumu, anahisi kwamba ali sometimes back alikuwa naomba usaidizi kutoka kwa polisi, but unfortunately hakuipata. It is guys mepata kusikiza kutoka kwa familia and the only thing I can promise ni kwamba we will try our level best kuhakikisha kwamba the repatriation back of our sister that is Mildred imepata kufanyika na familia yake binafsi wamepata ku lay their daughter to rest. It is not always easy. As you move kutoka hapa maeneo za Kenya ukielekea Saudi everybody has an ambition and everybody has a dream to achieve. She is too young because kwa kweli hakuwa na familia, ana mtoto but it 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 is not easy. From a humble background amepata kupitia haya na unfortunately the dream is of her it is still t- ni uchungu sana kwa familia. Mamake binafsi kwa kweli najua kwa kweli amepata kupigwa na butua na kwamba ni uchungu sana. We are, are praying for the best ni kwamba we are also calling the official from the government wasaidiane sana kuhakikisha kwamba the repatriation back of the body imekuwa rahisi sana na arudi azikwe. I goes by the name Edgar the Ambo and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi Kenya. Hakikisha kwamba unapata kutune in ndani ya Durgas TV kwa sababu nita hapa ndio mahali ambapo nitakuwa na kuwapea update every now and then concerning our sister that is the late Mildred mpaka wakati ambapo pia atapata kufika Kenya. Let's join hand kwa wakati wote ule ambao tunahisi kwamba ni kweli na ni vyema kwamba watu wanafaa kushikana mikono. Kujai ni wote tupate kushikana mikono. Team strong and also Kenyans at large. We are calling upon kwamba mkuje msaidie kuhakikisha kwamba the repatriation back of the body of the late Mildred imepata kufanyika na mamake amepata kumlaza a um, mtoto wake malipema peponi na uh, all imeenda vizuri bye bye and let's meet on our next video hakikisha kama umepata kusubscribe na nitahakikisha kwamba uh, the follow up of our sister uh, sister Mildred imepata kufanyika mpaka dakika ya mwisho